It is now time for the valedictorian to speak to her class. Please welcome Haley Smith to the stage as the HHS 2023 valedictorian. <laughs> Haley is the daughter of Buddy and Holly Smith. And this is actually Haley's second graduation this week already because she just graduated on Saturday from Jefferson College. Good evening, administration, members of the school board, teachers, parents, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. I'd like to start my speech tonight by saying how proud I am of everyone sitting in front of me in their caps and gowns. It has been a long journey and tonight all of our hard work is finally paying off. We grew up together and now we're graduating together. Being valedictorian and giving a speech at graduation has been a goal of mine for a long time. I remember talking to Matt Lichtenstein almost two years ago and he offered to help me write the speech when it was time for me to graduate. Even though I didn't get the chance to take him up on his offer, I really appreciate it. Long story short, I have long been awaiting being named valedictorian and I'm incredibly honored to be speaking tonight. So I'd like to thank the people who got me here today. My teachers, my mentors, my friends, and most importantly, my family. I truly believe that I wouldn't be where I am today without them. It was actually my mother who fueled my desire to be valedictorian. She believed I'd be top of my class before I even started middle school or high school. I definitely have those parents who expect nothing less than straight A's. I have a mom who signs me up for everything imaginable and makes sure I'm involved with everything at school. I have a dad who yells at rest when I make a terrible call, and I have a sister who towers over me and definitely holds it over me wherever we go. But I know she will always have my back because that's what family does. But family is so much more important than your blood relatives. Coach Blair taught me an important life lesson while I was a part of the Herculaneum Girls basketball program. Family is what you make it. It was what he preached, and we've chanted it at the beginning of each game. Your family is the people who always have your back, the people who will support you through thick and thin, the people you can trust. At basketball, we were a family on the court, but that carried off the court as well and into our everyday life. I view Herculaneum High School and the class of 2023 as one big family who is always there for each other. I will always cherish the memories I made with this family, and I hope you guys will too. They say, the friends made in college will last forever while the friends made in high school will fade away. But let's not let that be true for us. As we leave today and get ready to start the next stage in our lives, I hope we all have someone from Herculaneum that you can consider your family for the rest of your life. Our journey began long before we entered Herculaneum High School. Once upon a time, we were just tiny kids who hung out under the big tree at recess and argued over who got to be the line leader. As we grew up and grew closer together, we started becoming the people we are today. And honestly, we were one heck of a class. I lost count of the number of pep assemblies and class contests that our class won. And as mad as some people are about it, the senior girls totally won powder puff this year. One thing we never won though were the homecoming class floats. We sucked at those and I don't think we ever had a good flow in all four years. Next year, I guess our closest competitors, the sophomores, will have to take our place at this school. Before I wrap up my speech though, I wanna point out how involved and talented our class truly is. The class of 2023 consisted of a number of students who were athletes, musicians, artists, and more. We were leaders throughout the school. Four of us are graduating high school with our Associate of Arts degree from Jefferson College. We had students who participated and were the leads in different musicals and plays. Our band and choir students were awarded medals at districts and state competitions for their talents. Students in our grade were incredibly talented and members of the volleyball team, football team, baseball team, softball team, basketball team, cheer team, the dance team, wrestling team, cross country, track and field, golf, and even an esports team this year. And the hard work for some of these athletes and students really paid off. This year, a number of students from our class committed to college for football, basketball, volleyball, cheerleading, lacrosse, baseball, softball, cross country, track, track and field, and band. It's truly impressive and everyone should be proud. With a talented class like our own, I have no doubts that many of us will go on to accomplish great things in life. However, now is the time when many of our paths will diverge. We are all going to have different experiences out of high school. Some of us will attend college, some of us will join the workforce, and some of us will enlist in the U.S. military. Whatever we choose to do, we will always have our high school memories to look back on. We will always have that sense of accomplishment for reaching this major milestone in our lifetime. 
we will have our diplomas, a symbol of education, determination, and our hard work. Some of us will achieve our future goals, and some of us may not. But no matter what happens, we will always have this accomplishment. We will always have our diplomas to signify these four years of academic achievements and failures, friendships and enemies, joys and tears. And a lot of us have done everything together for the past 13 years, but now it's time to take the next step in our lives. Yes, part of the journey is the end, but for us, this is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2023.